Hey guys, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. It's Beer 30. Let's go take a walk, see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews. This is going to be kind of short uh, review here. Had my cataract surgery today on my left eye. I'm not seeing too well. It's kind of sore and tender and fuzzy. So uh, let's get on with this one. This one is Sierra Nevada's Snow Wit. Uh, this is one that Jared brought down to me uh, uh, about a week ago. And uh, this one has a date on the back of the bottle on the label. But it's written so small and my eyes are so fuzzy I cannot read it guys. So. It's a light label with a white writing, so virtually impossible to read. At least they are putting a date on it other than the Julian Code. Uh, I think it was done in January. I'm not sure. Uh, commercial description says you don't need a magic mirror to see the lure of this beer. It's brewed with seven varieties of experimental dwarf hops. These hops are so-called because of their uncommon growing method. Shorter hedgerows rather than the tall trellis systems that yields a denser heap of cones with unique flavors that diverge from their full-grown botanical counterparts. Each new year, each year new and different varieties are grown in this method, creating untried and exciting shifts in hop character. The, uh, the IBUs on this beer is 40 and it is 5.7 ABV. The food pairing for this beer, the cheeses, a sharp blue cheddar, your more pungent cheeses, Gorgonzola Limburger, and uh, tangy brick edam feta cheeses and it's on the lighter IPA side and, and it's uh, I'd say it's probably got some kind of Belgian uh, influence here with the yeast. Glassware is a tulip gallop chalice oversized wine glass. I brought the double glass for this one guys and it's not recommended for extended cellaring so let's not carry on any further and get it into the glass. While I'm pouring this in the glass, one black opener is left, guys. Anybody looking for a black bottle opener? Give me a shot. Let me know. Uh, I actually got two, but I think a guy sent me a money order for one of them. So uh, if you need a black opener, only one left. Going, going, gone. All right, guys, into the light here. It, it is a very light, almost to the macro locker, gold, macro locker golden color. And I can see the bulb right through it. And I'm pretty sure it's a... Uh, a filtered beer. It's got a slight chill haze on it. Not much. Then with that pour, we got about a, about a finger of head. Looks pretty good in the glass. Let's get a nose on it. I definitely tell the Belgian yeast influence on this beer. It's got a light banana, grapefruit, piney smell. Maybe a little lemon, uh, lemongrass. And a little spiciness to go in there with it. With the, with the, uh, I think they use American and European hops on this. Smells very pleasant. It smells like a very light IPA as far as, not like the traditional, uh, in-your-face pungent IPAs that we're used to over here in America. It smells like a nice summertime lawnmower beer, if you will. Well, let's give it a taste and see what we got. Cheers, everybody. Thank you, Jared. Appreciate it, brother. Oh yeah, very nice, light. I don't know if I would actually consider this an IPA. It's more like a Belgian pale to me, especially with the lower IBUs. Very light, definitely more like a pale than an IPA in my opinion, just my opinion. That it doesn't have that strong bitterness that most of your IP, most of your IP, IPA IBUs are 60, 70, 80, even up to the hundreds once you get into the double IPAs. Very light, very crisp, very sessionable, no alcohol taste whatsoever. 
Very pleasant. Very easy drinking. A good session beer. Just remember it's 5.7, not 4.7. If you drink six of these, you might have your buzz going on by then. Very nice. To me, it doesn't fit the IPA style, but it is a very pleasant beer. More like a Belgian pale. Well, let's let it warm up just a hair and let the other half taste it. We'll come back and do the final chug on this one. Be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left. Very pleasant beer. Very nice summertime beer to me. Uh, doesn't quite fit the style as an IPA, like I said earlier. It's more like a like a Belgian pale. Very good. I call these uh, lawnmower beers, but very crisp, very refreshing, summertime summertime type beer to me. Uh, let's do the final chug and I'll give you the final comments. Citrusy. Slight pineiness there. Very floral, a little peppery, very tasty, very nice, very nice beer. Uh, like I said, I don't think it really fits the style as an IPA with the low IBUs. And uh, it does have a nice bitterness to it, but not to the IPA uh, standard as far as I'm concerned, in my opinion. So, guys, uh, it's got the date on it, but I wish they'd put it just a little bit bigger. It's easier to see on the darker labels, but these light labels with that white writing, and they write it microscopic. I mean, it's almost like Victory's uh, Dirt Wolf, where it's, uh, it's, it's, it's written so small you can't hardly see it unless you have a magnifying glass. At least for me, hopefully, you know, I got both eyes done. Uh, and here in about a week or so, I should be able to read some of this uh, very tiny microscopic writing, I hope. We'll see. Time will tell. But the eyes kind of bugging me now since I just had it uh, operated on today. So, kind of uh, sore and inflamed right now. It's kind of hard to see that very small writing. Uh, guys, I'm on, I, I'm on borderline between a B plus and an A minus. Uh, it does have the data on the bottle, so I'm going to give it the A minus. I'm going to go ahead and give it the, uh, give it the uh, 8, which is an A minus. It does have the data on it, but the biggest drawback, it doesn't, to me, my opinion, it doesn't fit the IP, IPA style. It's more like a Belgian uh, pale ale instead of a Belgian IPA, so... That's where I'm going to leave it. Let's see what everybody else thinks. Let's go over to uh, Beer Advocate first. And Beer Advocate says 85 in, in their very good range. It, in, uh, it is a very good beer. That number is a tad low, but if I was putting a numeric rating on it, it would, some, it would be between 89 and, and probably 90, somewhere in that area for the grade I gave it. So Over to Rake Beer. Rate beer says 90 overall. I agree with that 100%. That's about the A minus rating, and 80 in the style. So I would agree with that too. Uh, uh, I don't really think it fits the IPA style. I think it's more of a pale ale, but very tasty nonetheless. A great summertime beer, nice, crisp, and refreshing. No alcohol taste, a little citrusy, a tad of pininess in there. The Belgian yeast is going on. Low bitterness with 40 IBUs. Very tasty for a 5.7 uh, uh, beer. Very tasty. I, I did like it. Jared, thanks for bringing this one down. Let me try it. I can see why you like this one. This is a, To me, it's a great summertime beer. So uh, I don't know if it's uh, going to be produced in the summertime or not. Uh, with it having the snow wind on it, it may be something they're doing for the spring and, uh, and be a seasonal beer where it's not going to be produced all year long. But... Uh, very tasty. So guys, that's where we're leaving it today. If you've had this one, give me some comments back on this one, whether you liked it or didn't like it. Very tasty beer to me. Thanks again to Jared for bringing it down. Hit that like button, rate, comment, subscribe. One black opener left. Let's go see what's in the fridge tomorrow. See you then.